Ryan Little. Japan. <laughs> Hey guys, I am back from my shopping. I hope you enjoyed that little shop with me portion. I did go to two different targets and then I went to TJ Maxx. I'm a little bummed. I didn't get a chance to swing by Marshalls only because I completely forgot. I was out for four hours. I went to two targets though because the first target was like a city target so they barely had anything there. That was kind of a waste of time but at least I got my coffee in between. So I laid everything out on my bed and I am so excited to show you guys what I ended up getting. You can kind of see an overview here. And by the colors, I'm sure you can see now that my theme is like a pink mixed with mixed metals. I wanted to do more of like a girly theme this year. For those of you guys that have watched my Vlogmas from 2017, welcome back. I will be doing Vlogmas 2018. So make sure you guys go ahead and click the subscribe button down below on this channel for more Christmas related content because I'll be doing a decorate with me video very soon, probably following this one. So if you guys want that, thumbs up for more videos related to this. Um, but also head down to my vlog channel in the links down below because that's where I'll be doing my Vlogmas for 2018 where I'll be vlogging every single day up until Christmas. So you guys will be in for a super sweet treat. Anyways, back to what I was saying is my theme from last year, I had a rose gold tree, which I'm obsessed with. I will be carrying on with the theme of pink, but this year I wanted to kind of add more pink and glam items into the mix. So let's see what I ended up finding. So I ended up going to Target and I saw these super cute reindeer. Now I will say they're cute. I'm not sure these are gonna be an item that I'll be able to keep for three Christmases or so, only because the glitter does transfer. So just keep that in mind. They did cost about $8 a piece. So I ended up getting two because I thought these would be so cute on my nightstand side by side with like a cute little candle. I'll show you guys in the decorate with me how I set that up. But I loved how this was like a fuchsia pink with the silver reindeer. What the hell is this? Uh, not a unicorn horn, antlers. <laughs> the silver antlers, and then I loved how this was more of a rose gold with the 
uh, white antlers. So I love that, $16 for both of those. Also from Target, I ended up adding these little guys to my Christmas tree theme. They are the cutest little candy canes. So they came in a set of two for $3, which is not bad, $1.50 a piece. I thought this would be a really cute way to mix up the shapes that I have going on with my current ornaments. So you guys will see in my Decorate With Me how I decorate my tree. And then this year was the year that I decided that I was finally going to get a reef. I love reefs, I think they're so cute, but I do live in an apartment, so I don't really know how I feel about putting a reef on the outside of my apartment door. But then I had the idea to hang one on the outside of my bedroom door, so that way I can look at it every single day and it kind of adds to the rest of my home decor. So I found this over the door hook which is really nice quality. It has this super cute little snowflake detail and it's very sturdy. Guess how much this was? It was only $7. I was going to get one of those command stick-on hooks, you know, like the ones that don't damage the wall that you can kind of pull off when you don't need it anymore, but that was $6. So I was like, let me just get one of these that will last me a couple of years and I don't have to keep rebuying those command hooks. So I love this. I cannot wait to hang up my reef. I will show you guys which one I got in a second, but while also shopping at Target, I know this is not home decor, but I have to tell you about these because I feel like y'all just need to get them. You need them. This was not even my size, but I could not leave them in the store. I got a nine and a half. I usually wear a nine, but since these are like a loafer style, it doesn't really matter if I have a little extra space. Plus I have wide feet, so I guess it kind of ended up working out for me anyway. But look at the pattern, it's very subtle. You can barely see it on the camera, but come on, does that not give you Gucci vibes? But on that Target budget, guess how much I paid for these? $24.99, $24.99, you cannot beat that. I love a good slide, like a slip-on loafer. I have several in my wardrobe already. It's definitely my go-to when it comes down to fall and winter fashion. And this beautiful color, the burgundy with the navy, was something unlike anything I have. And it has this beautiful bow, so it adds a nice bit of texture. And they're so comfortable. So I'm definitely gonna go back and snatch more of their loafers. I do know that Steve Madden has uh, loafers similar to this obviously they come out with different like faux furs and different colors and all that velvets and whatnot But even those are like $90. So why not go to Target? <laughs> okay now I also ended up going to the pet section My dog is really annoyed with me right now because he wants to play with this freaking toy So I don't want to touch it too much because he's actually laying down right now, but this was so cute It's everything that he asked for in a toy because I know my dog so well, he's into textures and different sounds, so that he freaking loves. There's also a squeaker in there, and it has this like rope, and come on, it's a gingerbread man with a Christmas hat, so you can't beat that. And this was only $6.99, and I keep telling you guys on the vlog channel to go to places like HomeGoods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx for your pet stuff, especially toys, because they're just gonna tear it up anyway. So it's just a better bang for your buck. And I don't really think there's much stuffing, maybe just like here, but I try to avoid stuffing because I don't want him to choke on it. And I also don't want to clean it up. So I also got him a sweater. It would not be Christmas or Vlogmas without pet clothes. I'm definitely gonna go and get more, maybe online. It's just really hard for his sizing to find things that fit the length of his back, but then like he's very small, like in his belly, but he has a long back, but this was, <laughs> Wow, that's just like really weird to describe your dog, but this was $9.99, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna try this on him to see if it fits. Hopefully it does, it is a medium, and it's just so freaking cute. Like I cannot, cannot wait to put that on him. Oh my God, Leroy, I think, I think it fits. <laughs> he just knows, he's modeling that sweater just for you guys. Also while shopping at TJ Maxx, I was about to check out until I was like, girl, go to the back, back, back. So I went to the back and I ended up finding all of this cute pink stuff, like oh, everything that my home decor is for Christmas time. So this is like a winter wonderland princess vibe. So I thought this would be the perfect throw pillow for either my bed or my couch. I'm thinking my bed because you know, I film videos here, so I think it'll be nice for like the background, but I wanted to mix it and match it with this pillow, which I also got. They were sitting together. They had a couple different beaded pillows. I believe I showed you guys in the shop with me portion, they had a couple of different beaded ones. I was gonna get a different one, 
but I was in the checkout line and I noticed it was kind of stained and I didn't want to buy that so I went back and got this one which I'm so happy I got it has a really nice bit of texture to it as you can see it has mixed bead detail which goes nicely with my theme and I like how plush and soft it is obviously I'm not gonna put this one on my couch because it wouldn't be comfortable and I don't want someone to lean up on it and get their hair grease on my pillow aka me so I'll just be using it as a pillow here on my bed which I think looks so cute and it goes really well with another pillow that I have from previous years so again stay tuned for the decorate with me to see how I style these now I didn't see the back of this one it's kind of like the back of your head look ridiculous I did not see it until I was in checkout and I was like "Ugh, I don't like the back it's just like a metallic stripe I guess you could kind of do like a reverse pillow theme if you wanted it to be less insane I don't know I'm just not a fan of the back of this one but the front is so cute and then the back of this throw is a white faux fur so again you know you can kind of make these versatile by flipping them around which I guess is kind of cool I just I don't know this one kind of looks a little tacky to me because it's shiny I don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below but I'm just so happy I found these I definitely lucked out and then also in that same little section I swear it was just calling my name I could not leave these on the shelf now in the cart you guys saw I had this like red traditional plaid throw that I was gonna get but it really didn't go with my theme at all it would have definitely been a sore thumb it's sticking out on my couch I mean it was definitely cute and it was serving winter vibes for sure but this is definitely more my home decor and I think this will also go really well even outside of winter and Christmas because it has just like a neutral palette so we got the gray tones the taupe we have the brown and the cream so I cannot wait to wash this I'm gonna throw it in the wash tonight and it was only $24.99 again why is everything so in my budget I love it so definitely recommend going to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods for all of your home decor. At least checking there first to see what you can find. And obviously I recommend going sooner than later before everything is just super picked over. Oh, I just got a Brita because my other one broke. So it was time to replace it after six years, you know, things break. <laughs> and I was kind of excited about this, not gonna lie, because I wanted to get the white one and the one I have now is yellow, so yay Merry Christmas to me it's kind of crazy how as an adult you get so excited over the littlest things like a Brita but that's just me and then the last thing I got oh my gosh I was definitely a sucker for the Opal House Christmas collection they had a bunch of cool stuff out as you guys saw when I was shopping in Target now my theme really isn't like a multicolor thing but what I liked about it was it did have pink in it so I thought that would still tie in the theme and it is mostly white but look at how cool this texture is it's like a pom-pom design it's made out of like yarn so I didn't think this would be cute anyway on a front door because it is so dainty and delicate it would definitely get very dirty so hanging it on my bedroom door I thought would be the most ideal thing it doesn't have a price on it I definitely will leave a link to it down below so you guys can snatch this they only had a few out on display while I was shopping so I think it's gonna be a hot hot item they had matching pillows and blankets and table runners and little trees as decor so I definitely recommend if you're looking to start a Christmas theme check this out if I didn't already have one from last year you know uh, I would have gone with this theme but I love everything that I had so I was just sticking to um, the pink and all that I think this was like $25 and that is my little Christmas home decor mixed with miscellaneous things. If you guys would like to see a decorate with me video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to film that. I am so excited to go ahead and put all of this stuff in its new home. It's about to be Christmas in the dollhouse. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the links down below. And I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Oh, 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 oh,